A very good evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America on Monday, August 31st, 2015. And this is Live Talk. I'm Blessing Zulu. And I'm Chris Gandhi. And tonight on Live Talk, we are going to talk about uh, the United Nations International Day of Victims of uh, Enforced Disappearances. To join our discussion, phone us directly at 001 619-2077 and we'll call you right back. And of course, uh, live talk goes out to Zimbabwe on our 909 medium wave frequency and on the 4930-5940 and 15460-kHz shortwave Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. On the internet, you can find us at www.voazimbabwe.com or www.voashona.com and www.voadevele.com There are people who have suffered, there are people who are still suffering and let's commemorate these things are still happening. Though we are bitter here and there, but this is a, a, a form of therapy. As we speak to others, as we can see that still happening to others and try to help our brethren, then we have hope for the future. Once again, thanks for joining us. You are listening to Studio 7 Live Talk. And tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the International Day of uh, Victims of uh, Enforced Disappearances. The Zimbabweans marked uh, the United Nations International Day of Victims of Enforced Disappearances, which is marked on 30 August every year. A prayer meeting was held at the Anglican Cathedral Church in Harare, where survivors of abductions and enforced disappearances recounted the horrors they were subjected to. In a message on the day, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon denounced what he called, quote, the alarming number of acts that are tantamount to forced disappearances. The UN chief said that in the past year alone, the UN's two groups of experts that address enforced disappearances received 246 requests by family members across the world to take urgent action. What do you want us to discuss on Studio 7 pertaining to this issue? If you wish to join the show, phone us directly at 001 202619-2077 and we'll call you back. The number again, 001 202619-2077. Mm. E, Munika, Zakasia Nasiana, Zimbabwe, Abatana Nizimunika, Kucherichez, Azuara, Nasi, uh, Renovairo, Azuva, Reno Cherichezwa, e, Van Vanengevachi, Pambra, Ivava, e, Pasipe, Batanzo, Nika, the Passi Rose, We United Nations, Nasi, e, Van Vangawariku, Anglican Cathedral, Muarare, e, Van Vaya Vacambo Pambra, Vachtaura, Zakaitika, Mupenu Abo, Munurim Kuru, United Nations, Vabanki Moon, Varushura Zukuru, Vanoneta Basa, Pambavanu, Two hundred and forty-six mm-hmm. uh, of Of course, uh, the uh, according to the Declaration of Protection of All Persons from uh, Enforced Disappearances, co- uh, proclaimed by the General Assembly of the United Nations 
in its uh, resolution 47 uh, of 18 December 1982 uh, as a board of principles uh, for all states uh, and enforced disappearance occurs when, and I quote, uh, persons are arrested, detained, or abducted against uh, their will or otherwise deprived of their liberty by officials of different branches or levels of government or by organized groups or private individuals acting on behalf of or with the support, uh, direct or indirect consent or acquaintance of the um, uh, government, uh, followed by refusal to disclose the fate or whereabouts of the person's consent or a refusal to acknowledge the uh, deprivation of their liberty, which places uh, such persons outside the protection of the law. Uh, that is uh, the definition there, Chris, of um, what are called, uh, uh, of course, uh, enforced disappearances. Uh, you can see the link there with uh, governments uh, or government agencies. Yes, blessing. And uh, as you can see, the figure that uh, the United Nations is talking about is 246. Indeed. Of course, that is across the whole world. But we also have in Zimbabwe exactly. our own people who have disappeared in the past. And right mm -hmm. now, we're talking about Itai, Itai Zamara. Zamara. And yeah. uh, there's also Nabanyama, a story that uh, you covered uh, some few weeks uh, back. Uh, yes, who also blessing. vanished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have, before that, we even have the likes of Rashiwe Guja yeah, exactly. and so forth. Yeah, yes. all those people who disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have our uh, first uh, uh, guest uh, lined up. Uh, who do we have? Uh, is it Mr. Chimbwa? Or it's uh, actually Mr. Charles Nyoni. Mr. Nyoni, good evening. Good evening. How are you? We are doing great, and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you, Chris. You can start the ball rolling. Yes, uh, Mr. Nyoni, um, today is a very special day, and uh, we know that uh, it's a day that you also uh, feel strongly about uh, the day of uh, enforced disappearances. What can you tell us about this day? I don't know whether you managed to attend any festivities today. Mr. Nyoni, oh, I think we've lost him, blessing. Uh -huh. We'll keep trying. Our phones are terrible today. Um, uh -huh. What do you have to say, Blessing? Uh, of course, for those of you who are just uh, joining us, uh, good evening. And this is uh, Studio 7 uh, Live Talk. We are talking about uh, the United Nations International Day of uh, Victims of Enforced uh, Disappearances. Uh, which is actually marked on uh, 30 August every year. But, of course, the commemorations were uh, held in Harare uh, today, which is the uh, 31st. Uh, Chris, we have some messages on WhatsApp. Maybe let's read them and uh, see if we can uh, uh, get uh, uh, some of our uh, panelists or guests. Uh, the first one comes from Emmanuel in Muzarabani on WhatsApp, and he writes, It's quite pathetic that African people are drawing swords against each other while other countries are busy developing. Zimbabwe had fought the war of liberation, yes, but it does not do anybody any good when the majority are still stuck deep in the mud of poverty, uh, lack service delivery, and uh, intimidatory uh, levels uh, are being felt, uh, intimidatory levels of life threats. That's what he writes there. Uh, the question is, where is Zamara? Everyone is to blame. How and why uh, could a human uh, being disappear in Zimbabwe with such a dignified, in such a dignified, um, with such a dignified security? Rather, that's uh, uh, Emmanuel then Zaraban Fedson says it's a pity people are busy mourning uh, Cecil instead. Cecil the lion. Uh. <laughs> uh, Tulani says, Ish, yeah, to us as Zimbabweans, it's so painful because all our people disappeared in the hands of our hostile and brutal government. Hubert says, It is so sad um, in a so called democratic country that one can be missing for more than uh, three months. And uh, Peter says, uh, They must bring back Itai, bring back Itai Zamara. Uh, Chris. Yes, blessing. I understand we have uh, a guest uh, on the line. Uh -huh. uh, we have uh, Mr. Fidelis uh, Chiramba, uh, who uh, was at one time uh, abducted. Mr. Chiramba, good evening. Good evening, blessing. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, now, Mr. Chiramba, tell us what happened uh, to you. 
Just briefly. If he should I start as, as we have discussed this? Yes. You can just uh, tell us uh, who, who abducted you. Maybe let's start from there. Who exactly abducted you? He was a member of the ZRP. Mm -hmm. And I understand mm, this was uh, at the height of the political violence in 2008, right? They ran up to the elections. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, they had already done the um, elections and they had contested as a as a, um, senator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how many people abducted right. you? There were six who mm -hmm. entered in my house, mm -hmm. but outside there were more than about uh, ten outside. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, we also uh, understand that uh, you were tortured in detention. Very much, you see, I was tortured by means of putting me into a deep freezer, mm -hmm. which, which was very cold. After having been put, put in the deep freezer for about five minutes, because what it made them to move me quickly because it could not close. They tried to close me inside, but they couldn't see. The lid could not close. Okay. So they took me to the bathroom where there was hot water, which they poured from the seat downwards to my private part, and I was bent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. how many people were detained uh, together with you? Uh, we, uh, there were three women and one man. We were five together. Uh, does it include uh, Justina Mkoko? No, no. Mm -hmm. Justina Mkoko was detained at a different place. But it was around the same time? Later, uh, it was, she was caught up in December, yet I was arrested in October. Mm -hmm. So you were actually the first to be uh, abducted? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, M M Mr. Ch Chiramba, can you tell us uh, when they were abducting you? Was this in front of uh, your other family members? No. At the time of abduction, I was alone at the house. My wife had gone to attend a funeral or somewhere in in the banded family area. And I was supposed to follow her the following morning, but I wouldn't do that because the, these people came during the night and abducted, and abducted me. <laughs> what were the allegations? The allegations uh, were not put to me at that time, but was later put to me when we got to Harare. Uh -huh. The allegations were that I was recruiting, uh, recruiting the youth uh -huh. to send them to Botswana. Uh -huh. Then they will come and move out to the Mugabe government. Uh -huh. But are uh, these allegations true? Where were they stemming from? Is it because you are a former police officer? Uh, no, because I was a member of the MDC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, but all this proved false because they couldn't bring the, those people sent by me for training. Mm -hmm. They couldn't produce even a single one. Even the president of Botswana said you can send as many investigators come and find out where these people are. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. mm. It was just false information. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Chiramba. Keep, oh, keep holding on. We have a listener on the line. Hi, Seapi. Hi, Seapi. Hi, Seapi. Ina ukweli ni nani? Ni kwa kile kakuulu, 
Ye uti wena bako na banyamala la yawa nyobazi yawa kamba langa makama da pa ungastelu kuto waga tesi banga. Kwa gani na tuzo la kwa lavanti la wale muli zamu zaka la kuto la buse gumu la namtani azizanga kuto zina zee zina ukulu mende inta zito mto ni yana na kuto kuto amapoli kake la ya zamu kuto bamba la pa la pa azizanga sio amu na chini chini zikare na zamu ni tanda na pua gumu ni mikoa. Na hapa kwa matambu wako lo chena haki zange kumone poli kwa leko katuko kilicho lase ni kuilegi. Mabutata nga kutu wa ibe skeni zito zonga ni basi zala meto tunu nga nsi ituka. Kunga pilapo wa nyamalele la kona njalo wa nyamalele njani wa stase la nyama fichani? Nga vanta ma vuga le nyeko. 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 I'm <laughs> I go long ill, I let him babala lele. Blessing this gentleman here. I spoke it. He's saying he knows a couple of people who disappeared and they've never been find, found out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, for those of you who are just uh, joining us uh, tonight on Studio 7, we are talking about the International Day of the Victims of uh, Enforced uh, Disappearances. And uh, according to the United Nations, uh, the victims themselves are frequently tortured and in constant fear uh, for their lives. Uh, They are well aware uh, that their families do not know what has become of them uh, and uh, that uh, the chances are slim that anyone will come to their aid. And talking about the friends and uh, families of the victims, uh, the UN says uh, the families and friends of the victims experience uh, slow mental anguish, not knowing where whether the victim is still alive and if so where he or she is being held and under what conditions uh, and of course uh, the um, 
UN further says that uh, children are also uh, victims, both directly and indirectly. Uh, the disappearance of a child is a clear uh, contravention of a number of provisions of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, including the right to uh, personal identity. Um, and, uh, of course, uh, the communities are also directly affected by the disappearances of uh, breadwinners and the degradation of the family's uh, economic situation and uh, their social marginalization. And uh, all these are serious human rights uh, uh, violations. Patrick, Magadi. Magadi <laughs> Ulona zinaiti kama mkoma blessing. Mwenye kama edu muno muma kigele muno muma. Nishu ezi so kana kuruguti kana pale wa mwa wanuma anoto ndisi ya kuruguti wakanzo hoti ndi ninda andi chitaura. Mwana isha hende no suka ndaka sumu uwa. Hende uno sumu uwa kana pamberipe wa anu. Uwa atoru wa atoru wa atoru wa hende juku isha ya basa. Mwajimaya gotera. I got to say, I was a monogator of Rubonia to Muzi. You don't get us a gataro. Saka is also a little chairman in Sanjibu. It was one of the other Nazi. When I got a son, I made it nations, Nana, you and Avana Sadaka. They were a man of Anufu, Amso, Kutimunuvanaka Shaiba. You are not the Mosanjins, I hear. God and Bachito, so much I was going to get us here. Can I put it? Kutumungerekaongozi Yes, please. I heard from uh, Patrick there. He's saying that, uh, you know, instead of just commemorating the day, mm -hmm. the United Nations must actually. Um, push to ensure that uh, those who have uh, uh, disappeared are found. And uh, he's saying that uh, even if it means sanctioning uh, countries that are responsible for abducting people, that should be done because uh, he's saying he's uh, really worried that uh, people are disappearing. And he says, uh, in Zimbabwe, you are free to talk, but you are not, to you are not free after talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, we have uh, another guest on the line. We have uh, now... Um I think we have uh, Addison Manyere. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Manyere. Hey, Manyere, I was going to
Nafunaka na matimba wakuti watuwe tuwa 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 Saka <laughs> 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 Chikoto, <laughs> 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 Asinda kazi zona uti ah anga uti mtambo hilo anga ari makodi au au ni dakuba za kwa wao. Mhm. Nogu timu chini mchezo wa kidiki diki ni sora uta anda zoe wa na kamera mimi wewe ya photographer ni ane moto karia ke chini tayi twenty liters de petrol sio watu zomupa petrol ya tu kuta sandi zipa pam 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 tambo hili. Mhm. Daga zona uti ah anga ari matauri ro ukuti na upana na nguva. Mhm. Mhm. Ndiye Mhm. evening. <laughs> I'm doing great, yeah, but I will ask you to stay on the line, uh, Mr. Mafunda, Mr. Manyere, and uh, Mr. Chiramba. We just want to take uh, a short break and then uh, we'll come back to you, gentlemen. So please uh, do stay on the line. Uh, for our radio listeners, unfortunately, uh, it ends here, but the good news is we are streaming live. So go to www.voazimbabwe.com and press uh, on a live talk and of course we we'll also post uh, this uh, program on our facebook page uh, later on uh, this is a uh, blessing zulu and i'm chris gande please do stand by as we cross over for just a few seconds
For those of you who are just uh, joining us, uh, good evening, and this is Studio 7 Live Talk. And tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the International Day of the Victims of uh, Enforced Disappearances. Chris. Yes, Blessing. Uh, we have uh, lined up a number of guests. Uh, so far, we have Mr. Kumbirai Mafunda, human rights lawyer, Charles Nyoni of the... Um, Occupy Africa Unity Square. Uh, we, he's well known for, you know, working with uh, uh, Itai Zamara, who <laughs> disappeared, as you all know. And we also have Adrison Manyere, a journalist who was also once abducted. Blessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, Mr. Fidelis Chiramba, uh, who was also abducted, is a former uh, police officer. Uh, if we can uh, maybe speak in English a bit, uh, Mr. Manyere. Uh, after uh, you were narrating to us uh, that there were uh, armed men uh, who then were uh, surrounding the car that you were um, uh, traveling in, what happened after that? Yeah, I was blindfolded mm-hmm. and shot the other back of the car. Mm-hmm. Then they started to play some songs mm-hmm. from Zimbabwe musicians. Mm-hmm. Very loud music. Uh, Loud music, mm-hmm. and the one of the song was uh, when the Hobbit Banger, a mm-hmm. one of the characters by Marshall Mulimu. Mm-hmm. Literally, was, literally uh, the song uh, is like uh, when you're about to go uh, to die, you die alone, no one will accompany yes. you. Yes, mm-hmm. and, and secondly, it was another song from Christian Tazuda. Mm-hmm. You want to take yourself as a hero. <laughs> yes. Mm. And again, uh, uh, there was another from Birajan Arira. He says, put your gun to kill people. A gun was manufactured to kill people. Yes. Wow. Saka, what can this key stand to the human? This is on Zimbabwe. On Zimbabwe, and while I was blindfolded, mm-hmm. uh, I asked the, my, the people who have just uh, arrested, who have just arrested me, mm-hmm. why they have done this to me. And I asked whether it was a normal arrest because I know how the police car was supposed to behave when they arrest someone. Mm-hmm. But this time it was a different situation now. Mm-hmm. And when they when I asked them, they said, no. Now we are doing a different type of tea. We are doing one and not some Bafian. And when I say, no, why is it that you have uh, arrested me? They said, you are going to kill us more uh, when we reach our place. Mm-hmm. To which uh, I was interrogated a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And they were telling me some of my background. Mm-hmm. And initially, while it was in that car, they accused me of publicizing a lot of stories which paint Zimbabwe a bad country. Mm-hmm. But later on, when I was put in a certain place which I was living uh, alone mm-hmm. in isolation, uh, uh, they beat me all over the board. Mm-hmm. It was the seat put it seat and they asked me about my address which I liked them initially mm-hmm. because I was uh, aware that during that time there were a lot of people who were being killed. Mm-hmm. Because as a journalist I used to play with some of the young politicians like Tendera Indira, Peter mm-hmm. Kuru Rama. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were all made that I saw, they were all made that. Mm-hmm. So that, that motivated me to lie of my address because I thought this is, my end of my, this is the end of my life. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want also my family to be killed mm-hmm. in the same way. So that's why I lied my address. Mm-hmm. So they proceeded to go to the place I told them mm-hmm. and find that it was not my place because I have already left that place. Mm-hmm. They came back to me. And they continued beating me all over the bed using the same tools, put it feet, 
the bottle seeds, mm -hmm. some iron bars, and they accuse me of why did you why I let them. Mm -hmm. But I asked, what is my charge? Mm -hmm. They did not tell me. And they just shot me in a small room which was which has no ventilation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I spent almost two weeks in that place. Mm -hmm. but do you know so which part of the country this place was? Uh, by that time, I didn't know. But later on, uh, after I was released from that place, I met some guys who were also there, who went there, not blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Who told me that it was Goromond. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in that place, uh, when I was in my own room, it was a very small room. I think it was about a two square meter room. Mm -hmm. It was in Mason. Uh, they used to bring me some fazza mm -hmm. with, uh, with the relish, which was just like a brown leaf of tree. Mm -hmm. And uh, some fazza that could from crashes. Mm -hmm. You know, that key mm -hmm. rat yeah. knows me. Yes. And uh, for me to survive, I had to find to eat some few uh, salsa mm -hmm. when it was warm, mm -hmm. dipping the soup from those relish. And I was living on two liter bottle of water. Mr. Manyere, uh, please uh, just uh, stay on the line. We just want to quickly uh, take a caller. And yes. then we come back to you. Chris Woodwell. Yes, blessing we have Nkomo from South Africa. Nkomo, Gunjan. That's my gender. Say a pila. Gunjan is South Africa. Ah, I thought that's where I go Ah, okay. We're going to see Panjimbo now. Yeah, but in Babi, in 1980, I don't have a release. It is a free event in the heart. And <laughs> And the main thing at the new one, I want to have a look around the world, have a dress for a day, Jimba. Maybe if we take a look at the other man, I am a zing, I have a good thing about Lulu to save us, don't put in a bag. So I will choose to see a lamb sang, I wouldn't have a little right to her. So what do you want to wear in a kind? I can't tell you, I can't tell you. Oh, okay. I was sad about the long Avang of New Yamalala. I could not go to the other with the Yamalans on Yamalala on Baton to Bula, a pet that I own the Pelepassi. A Omas Uba lady got to Kurus Nayova. The Ponava wins, I Sasa Queens, I got the reading a case called Baba Basso, Pinam Uvan, whose end Sarah News was on the city. Ava is here fast, Panapanto and Abuanda Wovan. Blessing is saying this the, the country is a lawless country, but uh, one day he says, uh, you know, people will be brought to book. Mm -hmm. those who are abducting people and so forth. He says they are well known. Some mm -hmm. of them are known. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to, uh, before we go back to uh, Mr. Uh, Manyere, of course, uh, and uh, also we have uh, Mr. Chiramba. To Mr. Mafunda, Mr. Mafunda is uh, responsible for the uh, for, for the communication department of the Zimbabwe Lawyers uh, for Human Rights. Mr. Mafunda, how does your organization uh, uh, work uh, with these um, uh, people would have been uh, abducted. 
Thank you, Mr. Zulu, and thank you for making uh, that correction that uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm a communications um, specialist at Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights. And thank you for this program. In, in short, in response to uh, your question, Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights has, yes, over the years, been assisting uh, victims of um, uh, enforced disappearances, victims of abduction, victims of torture, uh, including the likes of um, Wamanyere, the likes of Wachiramba, uh, the likes of the two-year-old um, Nigerian Teba Gaul, if you remember, in the 2008 yes. 50s, not only from there, even prior to uh, the issues to do with um, that happened, the disturbing you know, We have seen Zimbabwe so human rights um, um, having an interest in terms of protecting and promoting the rights of people. We have been, there's been a worrying moment for us um, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and we are worried that uh, we are almost going back to the dark ages. Uh, with the um, case of Itai Zamara, in which we are also having involved, including the case of coaches who, uh, mm -hmm. who disappeared in 2012. Mm -hmm. yeah, talking about um, Itai Zamara, I talked to the Deputy Minister of Home Affairs, um, um, Mr. Ziambi, Ziambi, and he said uh, the government is doing uh, all it can uh, to find him, but unfortunately, uh, he says uh, there are no leads. Yeah, it, the, 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 the time has now come for uh, the government to really take this issue seriously and to stop um, just uttering a, a irresponsible uh, statements. I think the time, Zimbabweans, what they want is they really want action. They really want um, uh, closure in terms of knowing the whereabouts um, of Mr. Itai Zamara. This government must account for Mr. Itai Zamara, not Mr. Itai alone for Mr. Porches, who's there, for Mr. Patrick Nabanyana, so the been missing. They must account for all these people. And um, it's worrying that um, they have taken a like a difficult approach uh, to issues that really affect people and families. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mr. Mafunda. Yes, Mr. Gant. Yeah, mm -hmm. still on, uh, on the disappearances, uh, Mr. Mafunda, you, you mentioned people like uh, uh, Paul Chizuze. Uh, what happened to him? We thought, uh, I mean, we haven't heard anything. Yeah, indeed, like I, like, like I indicated, Paul Chizuze is one of the missing uh, uh, people who was abducted uh, in, in, uh, in, in Lawa, you know, in Trendit Cove. He really worked closely with uh, progressive uh, organizations there. And um, what we've done is an organization together with other uh, organizations working in Lyo, who used to work with Paul, like the Libra Resources Foundation. We, um, we tried to embark on this uh, missing persons appeal. We're still pursuing that, and we have not had um, any updates from whoever disappeared with the approaches with it. But he still remains. Um, a disappeared person, a missing person, and we still continue our campaigns in terms of trying to uh, determine what happened to him. So in terms of figures, uh, do you have, uh, I mean, a number of uh, at least how many people have disappeared in the recent past? I, I think in terms of the things that they're trying to do, this information that we always work, work, work with um on an uh, ongoing basis. But like I indicated to you that uh, we are concerned about the case of Mr. Patrick Bamanya whom we actually know was an election agent for Mr. David Cotard in 2000, isn't it? We yes, come yeah. to the case of Mr. Um, Porches, who was 2012. We come to the case of Itai Zamara in 2015. You also mentioned the whole case of 19 or 20 people, including Manyere, uh, Justina, who were later... Um, uh, found after being abducted and being kept in, in, in communicative detention. But the worrying thing here is about impunity. Impunity in the case nothing has happened to the perpetrators of these abductions. Well known, who are still roaming the streets. Um, the issue of impunity has led us to where we are today. Maybe uh, on that um, um, note, let's attend to Mr. Achiramba. Mr. Achiramba, can you identify those who abducted you and tortured you? Yes, uh, the first one was um, Mr. Magwenzi, mm -hmm. a CID man, mm -hmm. Mr. Nyati, mm -hmm. also from CID, mm -hmm. and um, 
Mr. Makebenge. Mm -hmm. uh, there was one which they gave a, a nickname like Fanda. They yeah. say the founder, that was the name. I don't know whether this was his real name, yeah. but they called him founder. Uh -huh. Yes. And there was a, a woman among them, uh -huh. that one I cannot remember her name at all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, Chris. Yes, uh, you know, I was about to ask before we switched over, I was about to ask Mr. Mafunda while we were talking about uh, these uh, people who have disappeared. You, uh, I know you mentioned some were later found. What about uh, someone like uh, Kain Kala? Is, there, is he in somewhere in your radar there? <laughs> Yeah, like 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 I like I indicated that we are, we are worried that any any disappearance of any citizen of Zimbabwe really worries worries us because they, no one does have the right to um, take anybody's life or to um, violate any other people's rights. The Constitution of Zimbabwe is quite clear in terms of uh, Section 51, Section 53, rights to human dignity, freedom from torture, and inhuman and degrading treatment. Um, if any disappearance, any violation condemns us as bubble also in our eyes. <laughs> Mr. Manyere, let's uh, come back to you. Can you uh, identify your abductors? Uh, like I said, uh, the only person whom I know by the name was the, that person who said is Chikoto. Mm -hmm. Is that a real name? And, uh, I don't know whether it is a real name going to the system to meet him. And uh, secondly, I have identified the uh, Christian Makedenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, this, this now it was later on when I was released in the hands of the police mm -hmm. for my abductors. Mm -hmm. The first person whom I saw is, uh, was the Christian Makedenge. Mm -hmm. And the, the other one was Paraza. I think Paraza. Mm -hmm. These are all from the CID department. Mm -hmm. Yes, I met them at the arrest center mm -hmm. when I was given the charges. Mm -hmm. But before this uh, this day, I know one who I can say I know. What charges were preferred against you? Uh, when I was kept at the place, I said it was said to the Goromoni. Mm -hmm. There were no charges against me for the party, for the two weeks which I stayed in isolation. But on the 23rd of mm -hmm. December, that's when I was said, no, do you know your charges? And I said, no, I don't know my charges. And they said, uh, you have bombed the arrest of the police station, the department, mm -hmm. you have bombed a, a railway, you mm -hmm. bombed a, a bridge. And I think another uh, said the offer again in Harare. Mm -hmm. And it was said it's banned and sabotage. <laughs> that was the case Charles Slide made against yeah. me. Mm. Of which all these allegations I'm totally refusing them, denying them. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, when, uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Because uh, they asked me to write. So I asked them to write the death which these crimes were committed. And in response, I also put down the same death and the way I was mm -hmm. for that same day. And uh, I asked them, why is it that you are charged me with all these uh, charges? Why is my family reported me as a missing person? And it did go back to them to tell them that you will you, you found me. But instead, you are putting allegations on me, uh -huh. which to me uh, shows that there's no rule of law in Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. but uh -huh. It's like uh, in these days, you know, we were this Italian drama who is missing. Uh -huh. I don't know whether he is still alive or not. Uh -huh. And uh, he is in the literature, he's doing totally nothing. Uh -huh. So this maturity who was talking a lot of rap and saying that he knows where he is. Uh -huh. But up to today, uh, no leads were uh, told to the public that 
the body of identified the place where Peter Gamara is. Uh -huh. And the method is still moving freely. Uh -huh. mm. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Manyere. Uh, please uh, do stay on the line. Uh, Chris, you yes, have a call? Uh, blessing. We have a caller from <laughs> Bulawayo, Sivasa Chuma. Gunjan. Chuma. I think we have a problem with our line there. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's go back to Mr. Nyoni. Uh, Mr. Nyoni, uh, the same question that Blessing asked uh, the other gentleman is. Uh, there was people who identified those abductors, uh, who those alleged abductors who took Itai Zamara. Now, quick. There's no Nyoni there, Mr. Gandhi. Nyoni is gone too? Mm -hmm. Oh, are we having, oh, we having real big problems with our phone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was saying, blessing, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there's this issue of, uh, you know, maybe we people can being seen. Uh, Mr. Mafunda? Oh, Mr. Mafunda, maybe you can help us on that one. Oh, Mr. Mafunda has dropped the light. <laughs> <laughs> we are having oh, problems yeah, with our lights there. Uh, but uh, do you have uh, no caller? Uh, okay, let's go back to Sibasa Chuma. Sibasa, Gunjan. Chuma. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, we are having problems <laughs> yeah, with that line. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Okay. Shramba, are you still on the line? Yes. Uh, now, Mr. Uh, Shramba, yes, your case has been uh, concluded. Not yet. Mm -hmm. You see, what happened is uh, um, uh, human rights lawyers, they have tried to mm -hmm. help us by claiming conversation. Mm -hmm. The government is to pay mm -hmm. But they refused. Uh -huh. oh. You see, we have paid bail. Uh -huh. They are still refusing my bail of six hundred dollars. Uh -huh. So the only case which was finalized was Justina Mkoko's case, uh -huh. and my case was said it will go, it will go the same way. And it is on permanent stay. We don't know what they mean by that. Uh -huh. Permanent stay. Uh -huh. Maybe they will try it again. Uh -huh. Maybe they won't. But they should pay me back my my day money, me six hundred dollars. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you were suing for how much? We were suing team of us and um, the. Human uh, rights lawyers were suing them for 20 million. Oh, for 20 million, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Chris. Yeah, so how is it now? Are you not living in fear? Uh, not really. I can't see any, anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I've lost a lot of things. I've lost my plot. Mm -hmm. The same way. And this was taken to court. Nothing the, the court did, they just kept quiet. Uh -huh. So I've got to say three cases pending, but there's nothing happening. Uh -huh. Now it's seven years ago now, uh -huh. and nothing has happened. So I'm not scared at all. Uh -huh. But uh, obviously, you were uh, tortured. Did you receive any uh, professional counseling? Not at all. Hmm. And uh, Mr. Manyere? Mr. Manyere? Hello? Yes, Hello? Uh, did, did you receive any help after the abduction? Were you uh, counseled at all? Yeah, I did receive some of the counseling from the CSU. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, you know, uh, because of the way I was beaten or treated, mm -hmm. at times I lose some of my memories. Mm -hmm. Close of the theater, but I do receive. I did receive the candidate from the first union in that way. But yeah. uh, I'm still having some problems in terms of memory. Mm -hmm. It was much of the details on my head. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, I see. So, Mr. Menier, did this uh, abduction in any way 
uh, reduce your, I mean, uh, get you out of the plan in terms of uh, your job? Because we used to see a lot of uh, photographs and videos from you, but uh, after that incident, it looks like everything just went quiet from you. What happened? Can you just give us a, 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 brief, a brief background? Yeah, well, most of the people who I used to work with are now afraid to associate with me because they don't want to be labeled. The same, they don't want to be put a charge like the time the, the I'm so, so really. And it has caused me a lot of problems with us. And that is when we have enough uh, money to move up on a family. Because I'm the breadwinner, I'm a father of three. And my parents are all aged. Mm. And uh, for me to be in all the ground, even mm. some of the journalists are even afraid to associate with me because they also think that I'm also a, a dangerous person to associate with. Mm. So a problem to me was uh, it is just my income. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing Everyone is not is not in a position to associate with someone who is never a bandit or a saboteur. Mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that, uh, blessing. Okay. Let's go back to uh, Vachiramba. Eh, eh, Vachiramba, Mukati Murie nyuya kazi tambira se uye varuku tambira se uh, kushikapari zuno mati zuno zese zamanga mina zo e eh, kana ploti enyu zakatoro. like my plot mm-hmm. I got the plot through application in nine uh, in twenty uh, in two thousand and one. So I've been doing farming for about eight years. Then Mr. Um, Didmos in Tasa mm-hmm. gave the second person an offer letter. Mm-hmm. Which I was occupying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that man now is not doing anything on that farm. He's leasing that that plot. Mm. Mm. So that, that was in Banket? Yeah, still in Banket, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. You see, the law in Zimbabwe, I don't know how can I describe it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Instead of for giving this new person his own land mm-hmm. was far much better. Not to give the land which someone is occupying mm-hmm. and was authorized by the government. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't you know. It's difficult. Uh, Chris, uh, it's very called. difficult. Yes, yes, but please. Especially, especially my family is not happy. Uh, so, who do we still have on the line? Mafunda is, is gone. No, Mafunda is Nyoni gone. gone. Yes, only Mr. Chiramba and Mr. <laughs> and Manier. Mr. Manier. Uh, okay, course, Mr. Manier, time is uh, running out. Any last word you want to give to the listeners out there? Yeah, I just want to say that I think, uh, you know, President Mugabe is the head of uh, AU. should also assist that this thing should not happen in this southern region. And the international community, UN, should also live in the country zone, which causes all these abductions. Thank uh, you, Mr. Manyere. 
Thank you so much. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. We want to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Manyere, a journalist, a freelance journalist who was at one time abducted, and another victim, Mr. Fidelis Chiramba, a former police officer. And we also want to thank uh, Mr. Kumbrai Mafunda, responsible for communication at the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights. Of course, we want to thank our listeners, our callers, our viewers, and our team behind the scenes, our engineers and producers. Signing off, this is yours truly, Blessing Zulu. And Chris Gande, good evening Zimbabwe.